So if you have a Ford vehicle, you have the intelligent key, and you get in your truck or whatever, and it keeps telling you no key detected, you move it around here in the cabin, and eventually it'll connect and it'll start. It'll always start if I put it in the pocket, but I was trying to figure out what this whole issue was. To diagnose it, I only had one key. Well, if you walk around and you touch the door handle, there's an antenna in the door handle. If it's not picking up your key, the antenna in the cabin's not picking up the key. Even the antenna back at the tailgate's not picking up the key. Then you know that it's most likely the key that's the issue. If you have a spare key, try that first then you don't have to go through the rest of this process and most likely your spare key will work. You can program new keys. I'll show you a trick to programming your keys at home. Don't have to take it to the dealership. I bought this key off of Amazon for like 50, 60 bucks. I bought a cord that goes from the OBD2 port to the laptop for 60 bucks. You have to buy the, you have to buy this exact one. I'll put a link in the description. And then you have to buy the paid version of Forescan which is like $12 for a whole year. So let's walk through the force scan process of how to program your own key. I've already programmed it. I screwed up by not videoing it, so I'll just kind of walk through the steps. We'll get you a new key to where when you hop in your truck with your key in your pocket, it'll start every time. You walk up to your door, it'll open every time. This bugged me so bad. What you're gonna do first is set up your whole license and your key and everything. Uh, you'll have to pay for it, they'll email you a key, you put the key in the program, then you're good. Then you're going to come into this first screen on the bottom left corner, you're going to click this connect to vehicle. It's going to ask you this, you don't have the switch if you bought the right one. This adapter should work. Okay, my vehicle's already saved. I'm going to have to skip over this because it's got my VIN and everything. So software is really cool. If you haven't researched about it, there's a ton of things you can do. So to program, we're going to come down here to the wrench. And then Pat's Programming. You're going to click Play in the bottom left corner. It's going to tell you what it's going to do. You have to have internet. You must have the right adapter, which is this OBD Link EX. The one that's down in the description. You're going to connect to it going to show you what you're going to do. I'm not going to mess with it anymore because I don't have another key to program so I'm not going to go through this. What I did is just ignition key programming, click OK. It'll go through, it'll explain all of the steps for you. You just follow the steps. It'll ask you to turn the ignition on and off. You'll hear it cycle the locks and do some stuff and then it'll say programming's done. Turn the key off, turn it back on, hit your remote and you already got it program. The dealership's going to charge you like 300 bucks for this. A locksmith's going to charge you 100 bucks. If you have a laptop, you buy this OBD2 uh, adapter for $60. Buy the program for $10 or $70 to program your own keys and change whatever settings you want on your truck, car, whatever you got. If you want to do it the shady way, you could just return this on Amazon and your $10 to program your own keys. I'd rather just do it myself. So if you're a do-it-yourself kind of person, that's how you program your key. And if you're having the antenna problem, most likely it's your key. At least for me it was. This key is just going bad. The signal in it's not as strong. I changed the batteries. I did everything you're supposed to do. It was the key that was the problem. Brand new key. No problems at all. Let me know if you like these tips and tricks videos. If this helps anybody, shout out a comment below kind of helps motivate me to make more videos like this if you guys are responding thank you for watching